The lead in the NFC East will be decided uh, in the Sunday night game when the Cowboys visit Philadelphia in what's become a very intense rivalry. And um, the Cowboys are playing pretty well right now. They won three in a row, the last two by blowouts. Their offense has started to really hum with Miles Austin being the top receiver. He's come basically out of nowhere to replace T.O. and a lot more quietly than uh, T.O. would perform. And the defense has started to play very well on the uh, pass rush. The um, Cowboys still have some issues in the secondary, though. And that could be exploited by Philadelphia's um, young receivers, Deshaun Jackson, who's just having a fabulous year, and the rookie Jeremy Macklin. This could wind up being a shootout game, and the winner will be 6-2 and two and will be in control in a pretty tough division. The Houston Texans have never had as good a record as they do now, 5-3. and three. But they also are 1-13 lifetime against the Colts, which uh, is not a reason to be uh, confident that they will go into Lucas Oil Stadium and be able to handle a team that's undefeated. But the Colts didn't play real well last week against San Francisco. They struggled getting into the end zone, wound up with a whole bunch of field goals, and that's not the way that team likes to operate. So I think what we might see is um, the Colts trying to open things up a little bit more. And uh, what will also hurt Houston is that tight end Owen Daniels is now lost for the season with a knee injury. He was probably the most effective tight end in the league uh, so far this season. But overall, Houston is coming in with probably its best chance to win at Indy, and also with its best chance, if it should win, of maybe getting to the playoffs for the first time. The Denver Broncos may have been exposed a little bit last week. They brought their 6-0 record and uh, coming in after a bye into Baltimore, and they were pretty much manhandled by the Ravens. Now they get an even tougher test. They go back home at least, but they're facing the Pittsburgh Steelers, the defending champions, who do everything a little bit better than what the Ravens did well in that win over Denver. So that doesn't bode well for the Broncos continuing their um, winning ways. And also, it's become very evident that the Steelers can win with Ben Roethlisberger and not having a big running game. And the Broncos need to get pressure on Roethlisberger. They're very good at rushing the passer. But it's, uh, rushing the passer and bringing down Big Ben are two different things. Uh, Roethlisberger has become so creative, he may even rank now this season in the top five quarterbacks in the league. And he can almost beat you by himself. So the Broncos have to watch out for that, and they also have to watch out, of course, for the fierce Steelers defense. <laughs>